is a beautiful blonde headed boy and he's happy. Every day is a new day for him and he's just got the greatest spirit. He loves to kayak outdoors, he loves archery, he loves like every 10 year old boy video games. He likes zombie stories, anything that's a little scary and he likes to run. And he's good to his brothers and sister. Dean has ADHD. I didn't know ADHD was a real thing. And I just thought he was very, Dean was very strong-willed and he was fighting me because he didn't want to read. He was fighting me because he didn't want to do his work. Dean was fighting me because maybe I had spoiled him too much and he just only wanted to do what he wanted to do. Being the determined mom that I was, even with a baby on my hip, I was gonna work with him till we would make it work. And so the fight started with the homework. I think every woman wants to be the perfect mom. So I did it, I have mother just like I had seen on television and my mother and all my friends. And so I thought if I just did it like you were supposed to and gave it 100%, maybe 110, he would be okay. And so I kept trying and we kept failing. And so I blamed myself entirely. I'd given up everything to be a stay-at-home mom. It's all I ever wanted. And I was failing him. I was going to fail him. And it got worse every year. At Dean's last school, he was one of 28 students in a classroom. And they just didn't have the resources to deal with Dean because of the large class size. Dean would spend all day at school and then along with his homework, Dean would bring home all the work he didn't complete in class to be finished after school. That's a pile of work for Dean. By second grade, the homework got harder and the fights got more and Dean started to need to meet with a reading specialist. He needed to meet with um, a speech therapist to make his R's come clearer. And also they suggested an occupational therapist for handwriting because his handwriting was as clear as ho we hoped. So I was asking my sweet six-year-old to give me a full day at school, an hour of with a specialist afterwards, and then to go home and practice each of those skills and do homework. Our house became a battleground. Um, the fights were every night and one of us was in tears. And then that meant the rest of the family was on hold and all the attention went to Dean, which was great, but everybody else was suffering too, so we were really a family in crisis. The lowest point we reached with Dean was sitting on at the dining room table. We'd been there for an hour and a half. My mom had babysat for me for two hours. We'd sat in traffic to get home. No one had eaten. Everyone was crying. A two-year-old on my hip, my poor son, who I slowly saw breaking in front of me. And I gave up. And I told my husband, I wasn't gonna do this anymore to him. And then if it didn't change, I felt desperate. There had to be a change. I just had no idea what it would be until we came to the DePaul School. I learned about the DePaul School through a friend and she was very familiar with the DePaul School and she said, I love all that you're trying and I, and I encourage you to do so, but eventually you're gonna have to come to the DePaul School. It wasn't until we had him tested and we saw how bright, truly bright he was and how hard the work was when it should have come so easy to Dean and it was coming so easy to his counterparts that I realized Dean had nothing to do with it. It was just, it was just the gift he had been given in life and he needed a different skill set to learn to deal with Dean. I needed a different skill set to learn to deal with Dean. Within the first two weeks of coming to the DePaul School, Dean came in 
with no prompting and no fighting and no tears and sat down and did his homework in 20 minutes and then read for himself for 25 minutes. That's when I got all the hope back. And since we've been at the DePaul School, we've had hope. They've given us our son back. They've given us our life back. The DePaul School has given Dean the confidence and the skills to get through life. And they've given him a joy and his life back. When I first held Dean in my arms, I thought he could be anything. He, he's going to accomplish great things. With a face like that and an attitude of a, he had when he was two, I thought he'll be anything. By the time second grade came, I thought he would be limited and what he could do because schooling would be so hard for him. And when we came to the DePaul school and I saw him get his self-esteem, saw him have self-confidence and start to build a foundation of learning and self-studying, I realized again, he can be anything. And I can't wait to see what the DePaul school gives them the skills to become.